this video is about operators in uh, visual basic there are four types of operators uh, arithmetic operator logical operator relational operator and string operator the first one is arithmetic operator now here arithmetic operator uh, we have addition subtraction multiplication division exponential and reminder only the last two are a little different uh, you are not familiar with the last one especially that is the reminder so let me do one program uh, I'll include one button double click write the code uh, as you should just write uh, dim a b I need only two integers two variables okay then uh, the second step is uh, we have to either assign a value or accept the value from the user in the previous video uh, we learned how to accept the value from the user. We can also assign a value. For example, A equals say 10 and uh, B equals uh, 4. Okay. Now, first one addition. Uh, MSG box, that is message box, A plus B. This will give you the addition. Or we can write C equals A plus B and message bo box uh, within bracket uh, C. Either way, we can assign the values A and B in uh, there is a plus b in one variable and display that variable or directly we can say a message box a plus b and run the program so 14 10 plus 4 is 14 the same way we have uh, multiplication uh, division so this is all the same second so one 40 10 into 4 is 40 same way we have division which gives you the quotient uh, then we have this exponential okay exponential is nothing but uh, for example if you have uh, you want to find out the power of uh, some value for example 10 to the power 4 or 5 to the power 2 something like that so uh, in this uh, you have to use this symbol and we'll get this answer for example one more example I'll give you say 5 and 2 uh, 5 to the power 2 we have 25 okay so the, this is also one operator in uh, arithmetic operator one of the operators then we have uh, the last one is mod operator of course the subtraction and division also work uh, the same way the, this one is uh, a little different you are not familiar with this operator mod Mod, that modulus operator it gives you the reminder after dividing a by b see a division b will give you the quotient here a mod b will divide a, a and b a by b then it will give you the reminder for example 5 divided by 2 2 is the quotient and 1 is the reminder so your answer should be 1, one. so uh, same way suppose in say 50 50 divided by 2 Definitely the answer is, I mean, the, the reminder is 0 because 50 is divisible by 2, 0. Okay, so this is all about uh, arithmetic operator. The second one is relational operator. There are uh, different types of relational operator, operators. We have less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. So I'll just show you this is greater than a greater than b greater than or equal to you have to write like this a greater than or equal to b okay uh, less less than less than or equal to b not equal to equal to okay first let me do uh, a greater than b now 50 is greater than 2 here your answer is going to be either in true or false okay um, for example a greater than b it's true okay then uh, same way a greater than or e oh, okay then, then I can say less than b a uh, less than b sorry. a less than b uh, 50 is not uh, less than 2 so it has to be false false okay, okay. then uh, we have not equal to this is a symbol for not equal to a not equal to b true that is 50 is not equal to 2 so you have to get the answer true true okay then this symbol is a equal to b 
whether uh, hook D is equal to true. No, false. Your answer should be false. This is all about uh, relational operator. We have the third operator, which is logical operator. Now, uh, there are three types of logical operators: and, or, not. Now, and or not, uh, and and or are just opposite of each other. And supposing if you have two conditions, both the conditions should be true, then only your answer is going to be true. Whereas, I have I have two conditions. I say. Uh, the first condition should be true and the second condition should be true then your answer is true if any one condition is false your answer is going to be false for example um, let me do uh, a equal to b and right hand then uh, say a greater than zero some one more expression okay okay now here a equals b which is false a greater than 0 which is true so one condition is true the second condition is true but the first condition is false if one condition is false the answer is going to be false in and okay so false right even though one condition is true it's going to give false same thing if i give r okay any one is true your answer is going to be true this is opposite of uh, and operation a equals b false again but r a greater than 0 of course a, a 50 is greater than 0 so the second condition is true first condition is false so any one is true your answer is going to be true true so only in or any one is true your answer will be true only when both are false your answer, answer is going to be false but in and if any one is false your answer is going to be false uh, the answer is going to be true only when both are true okay then you have something called not not operator example if i give uh, not that is uh, opposite of whatever you get for example a equals b a equals b is uh, false Okay, first you have to check what is given there inside the bracket a equals b 50 is not equal to 2 so it is false so false not of false is true okay true right so supposing i'm giving um, something like um, say a greater than b a greater than b is true 50 is greater than 2 which is true but if i say not of a greater than b this is true not of true your answer is going to be false Okay. this is uh, not operator then we have a uh, string operator there are two types of string operators that is uh, plus and ambassador symbol both are called uh, string concatenation operator meaning uh, you can join the strings even in the previous video we did uh, my name is then I have written one uh, variable name so it's just joining my name is that's one string and name is another string in the sense I have given a value for the variable name so it is adding two strings also it uh, we added um, um, space also in between so it, it adds the string adds the string in the sense it combines the string okay so for example if I say I declare as string okay then say a is uh, ACB is then say say computer right so now okay now if i say a okay if i want to combine both me space and computer computer then i can say a plus b but i'm given any space so you will get uh, you know all together so a plus b Okay, BCBS computer. If you want space in between, we can include space. Or instead of this, you can also use this operator, which is the Amberson symbol. Okay, same answer you will get. Okay. So supposing in case if you want any uh, space or something, uh, you can always give space should be within quotation. Then again, you give this Amberson symbol or the plus symbol 
okay run the program okay you have a space in between them okay so this is about the operators in visual basic